Lotus, the iconic British automaker known for its lightweight sports cars that are made with only one thing in mind and that is performance, is set to make a major shift from a maker of sports cars to a full line automaker that will eventually only sell electric vehicles. Yes, it is sad, I know. Their whole philosophy, lightness and performance has now been replaced with the plans of a full line of heavy electric vehicles. Now as part of this transition, the company has unveiled its first ever electric SUV, the Lotus Elytra. The Lotus Elytra is a big departure from the company's usual offerings, but it is certainly impressive. In its top spec, it boasts an incredible 900 horsepower, making it the most powerful Lotus ever made by more than two times. And because of this immense power, combined with the instant torque of an electric vehicle, this thing can go from 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds. And she will go on to complete the standing quarter mile in just 10.78 seconds. Yes, she might be a fat girl, but damn, she is powerful. This also means that this is the fastest SUV money can buy, with number 2 being the Lamborghini Urus Performante, coming in with a time of 3 seconds dead. Now this thing just barely beat the Urus, this, this thing will accelerate in 2.99, so it's like 0.1 of a second, but it's still faster, and it is damn quick for a big ass heavy SUV. However, the Lotus Elytra is not just about speed, the interior of the SUV is equally impressive with a spacious and thoughtfully designed cabin that exudes luxury and practicality. Which again is completely the opposite of what we have come to know Lotus for. Lotus is known for building stripped out race cars with only the bare minimum found on the inside, where this vehicle is packed with all the features you would ever need. From a 15.1 inch touchscreen infotainment system to a 4 zone climate control system and 15 speaker audio system, it's fair to say with all of the little touches and features on the inside, the Elytra will be a nice spot to spend some time. Now one of the biggest challenges Lotus faces with the Elytra is how it will fit in with the brand's 75 year history. And when reading up on this car, I saw that some draw comparison to Porsche, saying that Porsche had to go through the same thing with the Cayenne. And now people love it. And I agree, but I also disagree. Yes, the Cayenne doesn't fit in with the brand's heritage and history, but Porsche continue to make their other sports cars, where Lotus plans to go over completely, replacing 75 years of a mantra building cars by simplifying and adding lightness, and taking a 180 degree U-turn to big heavy luxury electric cars. Now I understand that is where the money is currently, but you still have your fans and people that love the cars. Why not keep the cars we love and as a bonus build these luxury vehicles? Don't throw away all of that history just to fit in with what is hip and popping now. But hey, maybe it works out for the automaker. The Lotus Elytra represents a major shift for them. With its impressive power and luxurious interior, the Elytra is sure to turn heads and challenge the perceptions of what a Lotus vehicle can be. And I'm quite curious to see what other electric models Lotus has in store for the future. And who knows, with all the development of e-fuels and hydrogen, maybe they'll change their mind and continue building combustion powered vehicles that are lightweight and super fun in the corners. I mean, a man can hope. But let me know what you think. What do you think of the Lotus Elytra? And what do you think about Lotus completely changing exactly what they are and what they stand for? I mean, it's kind of a big deal when a company that has done one thing completely switches over to something else. We've come to know cars like the Elise, the Exige, and even the new Emira that are lightweight, mid-powered, and tons of fun in the corners. And now they're going to go to more Tesla-ish cars that are just big, heavy, powerful things. They will be fast in a straight line, but it's not the same. But let me know what you guys think down below. If you like this video, please have a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, you like a lot of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?